Listen now as Art Skelly discusses his thoughts about teaching and the reasons he uses various teaching strategies. Dealing with a various background, the first thing I usually do is just start uh, an algebra intensive review. Um, for geometry purposes, they need to be able to solve certain types of equations, especially for geometry. I spend a lot of time showing them pictures, how they relate, how the information uh, goes together, how you form equations. As far as review, uh, besides the algebra, I just it's a constant review. Um, the spiral review that I started with is pretty much something I do every day. Uh, either algebra, geometry, basic math, any concept that would be on a state test, uh, it's just required that I go over it. And I try to filter it into everything that I teach. With the technology that I have available to me now, it makes my job a lot easier. Because the kid who wouldn't ask me a question will now ask me a question if I'm standing within an arm's reach. And they can whisper it to me if they're embarrassed or don't want to have to ask it out loud. And um, I really prefer to actually walk around and, and watch their work. It makes my job a lot easier in the end if I catch all of them doing that prior to me going on with new information. I usually give them a task to try, two or three problems. I say, try this at your desk, see if you can get the answer. And as they're working, some kids work faster, obviously, than others. So I go around and I just spot check. If I can count probably more than four kids that got it wrong or didn't understand the concept, then I'll just turn face the classroom and using the portable whiteboard just show them examples. And if they don't get it with the current picture that's on the screen, I'll just create a blank screen and draw a new picture and start all over again. They're all responsible to know basic definitions, not verbatim from what I've told them, but to be able to explain it to me. So if I find most of them are not understanding, I'll just stop and go back and I'll reteach the entire lesson if I have to using entirely different examples. I had kids that used to come back and, and say, you know, I really appreciate you making sure that I understood and didn't just let me sit there. And so I made it a point to, to make sure that every student had some type of personal contact. And, you know, some kids don't really need it and don't want it, so they're fine. And, and the kids that really need the extra attention, I spend all the time I can with them. Uh, I like to have a, sort of an informal classroom, you know, I like them to laugh and I make mistakes and, you know, they, they get a big kick out of correcting me and so that, that sort of builds their confidence as well. I'm constantly asking them thoughtful it. questions, you know, do you understand the concept that I'm teaching you, applying it, uh, to bump the, the, the level up, I, I just throw in higher algebra because no test that they take national or statewide is going to explicitly tell them. It's just going to say solve or explain, and they have to be able to do that. I don't want kids to walk out of here with, with the attitude that math isn't important because it's in everything they do, and that's primarily why I do it. I want them to understand that the world works by numbers, and you're going to have to understand some point of it, or you're going to get taken for a ride somewhere along the road down low when you get older. I want them to understand how things work.